everyone, welcome back to Road Reg. So on today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna take this car for a spin, grab a cup of coffee, and we're gonna discuss whether or not I think you should remap your M140i or not, and if I've actually considered it before. So let's jump in and go for a spin. So we've got lovely dry roads this morning, um, sort of perfect M140i conditions. So I've popped it into Sports Plus because we've got nice dry conditions, but normally if there's any damp or grease on the road, I'll just stick it in Sports. So funny enough, the first experience I had of an M140i was a JB4 tuned M140i. Now it's not tuned at all, it's just a tuning box, which essentially tricks the ECU to making the turbo make more boost. But at the time, that was when the M140i came out and the B58's ECU was locked down, so um, tuners couldn't actually do anything just yet. Now, I don't really like that way of remapping a car. Um, I would rather have it properly done, but at the time, the M140i was brand new and the B58 engine was locked down to tuners. So, JB4 tuned M140i around Marham Airport. Uh, I say airport, more of an airfield. Um, you know, long straights, long corners, high speed corners, and I couldn't believe that power. First experience of an M140i, a JB4 tuned manual M140i. That was a lot of fun. This is what it's all about, guys. Coming out in the morning on the weekend, the roads are nice and dry, traffic is light. Just taking your car out for a little B road blast. This is what motoring is about. And the 140 is a perfect companion. I mean, look at that. If anything, guys, crikey, Mikey, if anything, that's too much power. <laughs> wow. So what's really cool about the M140i is BMW have given you a decent chassis, albeit a little bit compromised, and a stonking great engine, and essentially they've gone there we go, you make that car what you want it to be. You can keep that car stock, and it's a great car. It's comfortable, it's fast, and it handles relatively well. Or you can make it into what you want it to be. Do you want it to be a track car, drift car, or just make it slightly better and refine it? You know, And I like that about the M140i. Whereas with an M2, 3, 4, or 5, 6, or whatever, you know, they're pretty good out of the factory. Whereas with the 1 Series, it has its weaknesses. But it's kind of charming that BMW even did that because we're never going to see that again, guys. A 1 Series with a straight six engine in the front, turbocharged, 350 horsepower. Rumour has it that when BMW developed the B58 engine, they actually had to detune it. Apparently, it made 450 horsepower. But the problem is, guys, is at the time, it was the N55 M2. It was the M140i and the M2. Then you had your M3 and M4. But the, the M2 was supposed to be quicker, more powerful, right? It's an M car, it's an M2. But, but no, when they were developing the B58, it made more power than the M2. I mean, they had to do something about it. They had to pin it back down to a nice, 
comfortable 350 horsepower, just so it didn't step on the M2's toes. So we've got a slow moving vehicle up ahead and I think this will demonstrate what sort of power we're dealing with with the M140i. So he's doing way below the speed limit and uh, we're gonna look for a gap, make sure it's safe to pass and we'll, we'll overtake. Let's see how it copes with an overtake. Here we go. Easy. If you're planning on doing competitive things with the M140i, like take it to Santa Pod, um, or building a sort of track day M140i, or you're just the sort of person that likes to build an absolute monster, then I totally get why you, why you would want to remap your M140i uh, beyond stage one. It makes sense, and it's got it's got so much potential for that, guys. That engine up there, it's it's just got so much power ready to be unlocked. It's awesome. I personally think that the M140i has plenty of power for the road and the road only. Um, if anything, it has a little bit too much power. That car can get you in a lot of trouble, guys, let me tell you. You're about to witness me get an absolute grilling. So, um, I don't think it desperately needs a remap. That's why I've waited this long and done all the handling mods first. It's When I first drove that car, I was like, oh my God, this car is gonna get me in trouble with the boys in blue, let me tell you. Oh God, here we go. Do you know why you were black flagged in the first place? Because I cut the mini up. Yeah. I oh, know, sorry. You know the drill, guys, it's a quick car, but it's main Achilles heel is the handling. Once you've done that, it's power time. So, do I think you should remap your M140i? Uh, well, the simple answer is yes and no. If that couldn't get more confusing, let me explain, right? I think if you're really, really desperate to squeeze a bit more power out of that engine, um, then at least please put some decent dampers on it because the stock dampers on that one series are just not good enough. Do your handling mods first, then add the power. Am I going to map my M140i? To be honest with you, I'm 50-50. 50% of me really wants to unlock the potential of that B58, especially the fact that I've done the handling mods. I really wouldn't mind a little bit more power and a much smoother power band. But the other half of me is like, hmm, if I remap it, it's gonna make it tricky to sell because some people out there don't like to buy cars that have been remapped uh, for a number of reasons. How long am I gonna have my car for? Am I only gonna have it for another year? Is it really worth spending that money on a remap and then having difficulty selling it to the right person or just enjoying the stock power levels as it is and being able to move it on pretty easily? Uh, when you're done with it. So that's where I'm at at the moment. I'd, I'd be happy with a stage one tune um, and, and that would do it for me really. But if I'm gonna do that or not, I'm not sure. So yeah, that's, that's it really. Thank you so much for joining. Cheers, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.